It is Thursday, May 1st, and uh, I have a little video update on the CM Stacker STC T01 uh, case uh, cable management. Second attempt, as I written in the uh, sidebar of the last couple of videos you guys saw. Basically, I want to start with the front here. Um, on the top, everything's pretty much the same as that's been if you've watched the videos. Moving on down, we have a uh, Antec 120mm fan, just kind of sitting in there. Some more of the wires, cable management. Moving on down is our uh, hard drive cage there with only two hard drives, because as I said in my other video, my 250GB uh, Seagate seems to be messed up, so we're going to see if I can get a new one. And down here we have some wires, the uh, PCI Express leads for when I get the new graphics card, and uh, just some other stuff to hide out of the way. Moving on around, we have the inside as we've gotten it so far. Saw that same 80mm fan up top there. And now I've installed a AeroCool 89CFM. 120mm fan up top there blowing down on the gas side. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this setup here. We'll see what happens. And as you know, 7600. Still, still running it. Still going. My UF700 cooler on there from Zone. Runs under 55C load. All day long. Anyway, moving on around, we have our fan controller for the Silverstone fan right there. And there's our wires going around there, all tucked in. I need to do a little bit better of a job. I'm probably going to run around up top like that one is to see what happens. We have a little uh, data cable there. Front panel connectors tucked back there. Our uh, Southbridge thing. Um, moving on down, as you can see, uh, there's the 80 millimeter fan I installed right there. Working nicely. The only thing that sucks is see if I can suck the air from this before it even really goes down there. So, see what we can do with that. Back shot of that. There you go. That's how I got it attached. Sorry, I'm terrible with the fan go there. Fan tag. CZ 700 watt power supply. Very quiet. Uh, the only thing really that's exposed now is uh, these SATA cables because these, like I said, these are all tucked in. If you can see that. Tucked down in there. And these run up under there. I want to get some new ones, but uh, I don't have any money, so uh, it's not really an option. We have a thermal take. 78 CFM fan line right there. 24 pin power supply connection goes up and over that. Uh, crucial ballistics. PC 6400 at almost a thousand megahertz in you know, the clock. Uh, sorry, Silverstone fan there. Thermal Tech Big Typhoon. Uh, CPUs E2180. Uh, headed up to 3.3, give or take, and uh, E4500 up to 3.4, only bench. Uh, bolt processors will be 3 gigahertz stable at near stock voltages, uh, full load, tested, everything. So anyway, oh yeah, Asus P5K E Wi-Fi edition, which I need to get my wireless or Wi-Fi hooked up actually because we got a wireless setup going in the house. But haven't got time to set that up. There's the Antec fan, um, hard drive cage, 
to do on appearance. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. I hope you guys like what the case looks like. I got a lot more stuff I need to do. I don't know what I'm going to do up here with this, like I said. And, uh, the only thing I can say, it runs kind of warm with the setup like this on the north bridge. It just doesn't end up cooling, so. See what I can do. I'll try to find a fan like I got on here in the bridge. Alright, guys. So, so, about all for now. Um, I'm going to overview the front here. Got a three fan, three pin controller there. Some cheap one in the front here with no, uh, all the stuff taken out of it. Top. Our cool stickers that all the ricers used to add power to their car, you know. That's where I was getting out that video if anybody watched that. <laughs> yeah, you can look right on through. Oh, yeah, if, you, if anybody didn't watch the other video, let me see if I can turn this here to get a shot of the water management from the back. There we go. Dark, sorry. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Does what it needs to do, like I said. Here's all of our drive bay covers with filters on every single one. Cleaned them all the other day. It took me about half an hour. It was a bitch, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Yeah, and if anybody doesn't know the scenario here, it's basically the best water management that I can possibly do without cutting this case at all. Because I'd eventually probably sell this case, and if I cut it all up, I might not get the value that, that it's worth. So if anybody knows, doesn't know how much this case is worth and thinks it might be cheap and or expensive, give or take, just look it up on the or Tiger Direct or anything. So. I wouldn't say it's really expensive, but it's it's not your average twenty or thirty dollar uh, you know one of the line little case there. So, uh, all right, guys, that's about it. More later.